hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel so quick one this um specific assignment has been giving me issue i've been trying to create videos but few dimensions were missing because by the time i found um, hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel so basically this video i'll be creating i'm gonna be giving myself dimensions because i tried creating this video long long ago but few dimensions were missing and that's caused delay for release of the video so I'm just going to be using dimensions I think it's meant to be based on what I saw on other um, pictures from other engineers and all. So I'm just going to assume a few dimensions are missing, but this video is just going to show you how to draw and probably if you know the right direction, you should apply it to your drawing. So let's go quick into it. So as always, you click on plus to sign and I'm sorry, I'm not going to be editing or cutting. So anytime I make mistake and I reverse my step, the lengthy video, we are all going to be together um in it because i'm not chanced where i'm at to start editing videos and all so um the heights we told we were being told from the ground floor to the top is 112 millimeter and we have thickness of 46 yeah 46 enter expand then we are drawing an n you pick your line to draw this make sure your lines are straight touch the floor touch take it up back to that same height then connect to the wall right click okay then you come to your dimension to we are being told the distance to the floor is 6 mm drag it out 6 mm enter then we are being told the distance from here to here is 12 millimeter 12 enter then we have been told from here to this side is 18 or no 16 16 enter go to so i'm sure this part will be 18 or you can cross check then i come to my trim tool and there's meant to be something like an end here right but i don't understand the measurement that is given here three times one i don't understand what that is but what do you think what do you think let me just draw an end there so we don't come back to draw make sure you don't omit the end that is being drawn here oh sorry let me reverse my stuff cancel ctrl z pick my line to again L on my keyboard pick on draw up draw sideways and draw downwards i think what i just drew looks okay come here let me check the dimension of what i drew i just three point five three point now let me just make this four enter there was the height of what i just drew So this is one nine let me just make it two so yeah i'm doing four by two remember i said my dimensions are not going to be correct i'm just doing it for doing sake just to show you things that are to be drawn i can't read most of the dimension that is written on the screen enter take to the side i need four mm enter then connect back down degrees right click okay then let's zoom out i pick my cuts to when i begin to trim off places i don't need please if you can read the measurements kindly say something on the comment section or in the comment section i mean uh so we can all learn and correct our mistakes so let's extrude or is it too quick to extrude sorry scale out so i pick on my extrude to yeah extrude that portion but i want it to go backwards with distance 64 64 enter yeah so we are done you come on this surface add sketch sorry zoom out yeah um 
at first of my line so don't draw on the edge just somewhere outside the edge draw a slant line make it longer than both edges okay then we'll pick our dimension to from here to here is 70 degrees that's 70 plus 20 is 90 so oh, 70 degrees enter yeah so um a book i saw right from here to the down part was 18 is the same thickness as that of the slope so i think i'll be doing the same thing let me pick my trim to to trim off the ss portion here oh sorry i should say i think i have to put dimension on both sides to hold it down 70 as well accept trim to then trim off this portion so like i said the distance of the slope or um, thickness of the slope during extrusion extrude extrusion which is 18 is the same thing as the it here in another diagram i saw so i'll be doing that because i don't know the distance then we know from this down to the top of the slope is um 18 yeah but if you know the right dimension like i said earlier use it and also comment down in the comment section below um what next i pick my line to from one edge of the box so another edge of the box on the straight line yes perpendicular okay then pick my dimension to from the top to the bottom and 20 enter yeah then let's finish sketch for now pick our extrude touch this portion so we want to cut but inwards and not 64 we want to cut 18 yeah enter okay looks like we're making progress so do we work at the top or okay um i think we'll have fillets um everywhere which is two radius two so fillet yeah two diameter i want to feel here i want to feel here i want to feel here here i think it's around the frame around the biggest box it's frame here what am i missing i think i have to yeah i feel that's portion as well yeah it's around the biggest box and click on my okay and do we work here first or work here um let's work here remember it's always at sketch not at the sketch so at the top here i've been told there's a center circle distance 20 and distance 9 distance 20 distance 9 distance 20 so i pick my let's pick on construction line then line i'm drawing the first line this direction i'm drawing another line again and this again this is the center this direction as you can see it gave me the center so i did not so i do not need to measure i'm picking another one a straight line this direction so i pick on my dimension too so i don't need to divide this because this is already the center and uh, before from here to the edge i'm being told is 20 so i do 20 enter then for this guy to the hedge, I'm going to remember you're touching the final edge. I feel it to give us two edges, so you're touching the final edge. So the other edge is nine. And uh, this is this nice 20. 10.5. And uh, from here. Draw radius 10 because of the diameter of the bolt. Another radius 10. That's 
the boat that is traveling through the center distance is 10 meter then so pick this so i touch my center center and this line so yes then pick my dimension to from this center to this center or stored this 40 mm 40 meter and pin sketch pin sketch okay so extruding it now we pick on this guy these two guys are gonna cut but through the thickness of this then we click on plus sign which is this guy who is gonna cut through all down to the end okay then these two guys are threaded what's happening why did you leave These two guys I'm trading here and here. Okay, we're gonna plus sign here also. Remember, I'm using M10 1.5. Okay, so this is not um this this hole is not is not threaded. It's just a normal hole. And let's see, yeah, it's sitting exactly. On the center of that point, cool. So we rotate to the front now to draw a circle yeah, here. So I this sketch, add a sketch, or create a sketch, make it our size. So I pick my line too, right? I draw a minus line. Don't worry, I'll be raising that at the end of the day. So I'm being told from this point to this point is 30. So I pick my circle tool. Turn up construction line. Then come somewhere here. Diameter 11. Enter. Then come again. Diameter 8 enter right click okay dimension line from the center to the wall or stored is 9 mm sorry 9 enter right click okay yeah what else are we trying there nothing so let's extrude to extrude i know for this big circle for this small circle, it's going to be true all, cut, true all, yes, then click on plus sign, for this small, I might click on just this one, yeah, for this, it's going to be cut, distance, 6, enter, so let's see what we need, e. Like can you see we still have yeah that's where the boat is going to be sitting yeah so our diameter looks okay back to normal so guys this is all for this guy so let's give it a color um i'll choose should i do black or yellow responding sorry i have a lot of software running on the laptop and that's why it's hanging.